Hey guys and welcome back to yet again another Season 10 Educational Gameplay Guide guys. Today we're going to cover Vi in the jungle. One of the most played champions in lower to mid elo at the moment because like she's really popular due to like a couple of reasons. Uh, first of all, she's actually insanely easy to play and she can carry insanely, insanely hard. So with that being said, let's cover Vi today. Also, let me just quickly change my hotkeys because I actually got it wrong right now. Uh, there we go. Yeah, that, that's a whole lot better. Okay, so basically the way how Vi works is pretty simple. You can one shot, you can kill pretty uh, people pretty easily with a single combo. That's basically what Vi is about. That's why she is so good in the jungle at the moment. Her wave clear is pretty good. Like overall, her... Um, she can do like loads of things in team fight. She can actually carry pretty hard throughout the game, both early to like mid elo, uh, mid late game. She's pretty actually, she's pretty good actually. But anyways, guys, I usually take the red buff at level one. Kind of depends though on what kind of jungler I'm up against, but usually that's like the jungle pad I take, and then into the wolves. Eventually taking the blue buff, and then into this camp over here. This is like the basic routine that I always go for when playing Vi. It's pretty much the best uh, possible route. Of course, it does kind of depend though on what genre you're up against, but this is most likely the jungle path that you're going to take most of the time. After taking these camps, you can often rotate to the river. You can kind of wait for it so we can secure it. But in this case, I might actually go bottling right here since we have like a Blitzcrank on support. There we go. Let's see if, we see if we can get a catcher. Nice. Okay, that's just a single auto attack. Okay. So, we may not have got a kill right here. But it was still worth ganking for because now we can secure this thing here. And we also got a flash on Misfortune. So, the next time we're going to come back, Blitzcrank can hook the Misfortune again. And then we can actually take a kill on her. So... We want to be mainly playing around lanes that are actually winning. For instance, we have like this Blitzcrank and Kaylin right here. They're already winning pretty hard, so we want to play around this. As for the full runes, as well as the full build, like the best setup for Vi at the moment in the current patch that we're living in today, you can all find it in the description, guys. Okay. I'm just trying to scare her off a little bit. If we scare off like the Mr. Chun and the Morgana, um, it will make the win even harder. But let's actually go back right here and buy two of these. Pretty good. So when you're playing Vi in the jungle, you really want to get the um, the red sweeper, this one, the trinket. You want to get it as soon as possible because that allows you to once again like clear all the wards down here so you can actually gank a lot more easy. It's really important. So I'm just going to rotate myself, taking the camps, and then slowly rotating myself back uh, to bot lane again. So maybe, maybe we could get a catch on them finally. As for the skill order, you want to be maxing your Q first, and then your W after, and then your E is last. That's pretty much your um, skill build. She's still pretty low, actually. There we go. I'm just going to pop the smite right there. So now we're going to go bot lane again. We know that her flash is being down. So we just want to keep on going down there over and over again until we finally get a catch down there. Just by playing around winning lanes, it allows us to uh, make them like win even harder. Because my teammates are winning so hard, we can now actually force like a dive on them as well. So just playing around here allows us to do so much. Okay. That's the, the thing from Lee Sin. That means that Lee Sin knows that we're currently being here. But I allow him to know that. I allow him to, to know that. That's no problem. I do have to stay really close. Because if Lee Sin does decide to come uh, bot lane. We should be ready for this. So you see if we can get this guy here. Even just a flash is really good. Uh, okay. Before getting out of this laning phase though, we do want to push it out, help out this Anivia since she's actually low on HP right now. So I'm just going to help her out on this way. 
There we go. Looks like bot lane has already got a catch with Mr. Tune. Like, we've been camping so hard that Caitlyn and Blitzcrank has already been pushing out. We've already got the first planning on, on these guys here already. And she's currently actually like 30 CS behind because we've, we've been spending like so much time around bot lane. They are winning harder, like harder than ever right now. So right now, the red buff is currently being spawned and you want to take the red buff as quickly as possible. You don't want it to be stolen by the enemy jungler. So I will quickly rotate myself to the red buff take the red buff take every single camp i can right here and then slowly rotate myself back to bot lane again because you want to play around lanes that are winning remember that guys that's the most important thing about jungling you want to play around the winning lanes so i'm just saying it twice just in case they actually got the water dragon unfortunately because we didn't really have proper vision there but that's no problem the water dragon is not that important good Gonna push this out all the way. Pop the E right there. Sweet. So we may not have gotten an assist so far, but we've already like made bot lane so far ahead just by constantly uh, being there over and over again. I can actually pop my spider right now. Good. All right. I'll t I'm going to take the, the blue buff for myself as well because uh, this is going to be really useful for myself so I can actually clear out the camps a lot more. There we go. I'll slowly bring this camp over to Balen as well. I'm sorry, Nivea, but I'm almost out of mana. I'm very sorry. I don't want to run out of mana right now because this is the most important stage of the game right now for me. Okay, they're fighting that. So, only Misfortune is currently there right now. If I make my way to Balen right now, we could catch this guy right here. Okay, they flashed, okay. I'm just gonna clear out this ward and then I'll immediately roam down over here and like dive to Misfortune. We want her to run out of the tower. We don't want her to take any of the farm. We want to get the platings for our own, basically. I could even drop down a ward right here. Like, our pressure is insane. We may not have got the kill, but that's absolutely fine. The amount of pressure we're creating over bot lane is huge. Okay. I'm not going to go in there because they can actually rotate to me a lot faster. I'm not going to use my flash either. Okay. If he actually decides to show up right now, I will be ready for this. We need like slightly more for my items. So I'm just going to take like uh, one or two more camps and then that's it. There we go. Like Vice is the perfect champion for like creating pressure in, uh, in the lanes early game. She's perfect for this. Okay, we're going to go again. There's a ward down right here, so ganking is pretty easy to do right now. I'll just stand ready. The, the enemy bot lane is constantly scared that I'm just going over there. Which is really, really good for us. I'm just going to take, like, a single camp. Taking the wolf right here. And then we're going to go roam down bot lane once again. We do want to gank mid lane now too. Because Anivia actually has the, a perfect kit to catch uh, champions like Cassiopeia. So if bot lane is not gankable, we have to focus on mid lane as well. Because th those are going to be like free kills. There we go. I just need like level 7 right now. I'll just take that camp and then rotate to mid lane. Good. I'm not going to use my smite because we're definitely going to need that for roaming down um, the lanes, using it for there. Okay. Lee Sin appears to be right here. There's no wards 
at all. So let's see if we could maybe catch the Cassiopeia through like a bait. Okay. This will be interesting. There's a pretty big chance that Lee Sin could also show up here, so it's going to be kind of scary. Okay. I'll leave that be, taking this camp over here. Okay, she's going in. The passive right there. Okay, we have to save her right now. Never mind. Unfortunately, the misfortune is actually right there. She's probably super tilted because I've been like camping bot lane the entire time. She but she probably must be like really tilted. I'll just take the farm right here. Okay, at least there's no problem for me. Good. Now we're gonna rotate bot lane again, and this time hopefully we can catch them on our tower. That would be the best, uh, the greatest thing right now. Okay. Appears that we can't really dive. Uh, which teleport is this? Oh, that's from uh, that's from Nasus. Okay. I'm just gonna take the camper idea. I'm just gonna take all the farm. Like we still don't really have any kills at all. We still don't have any assists. But the the amount of pressure that we've created so far is really, really huge. Okay. We got this one. Nice. Now we can go down to these guys. Oh, I actually wanted to max my W, not max my A. But no problem. Okay, she actually got that one. That's pretty that's pretty sweet. We could get this guy. Never mind, I'm not gonna waste my smile on that guy. Leeson could be coming soon. There we go. Quickly take that camp. They're actually doing a dragon. Hopefully, we're not going to lose it now because Lee Sin is right there. Okay. Good. I actually did not expect Lee Sin to be right there. Thought it would be somewhere different. So, now, once again, we can go back to base. Buy the next item, which is going to be Trinity Force. Now, we can also combine that by buying uh, this one. As for the boots... You can go ninja topics if the enemy team is like full AD. Uh, however, in most of the games, I would recommend you guys going for mercs. Because mercs, once again, will help you being able to survive with, through a CC. And also, like, magic resist is also good against most most games. Mo most, pe most games have, like, uh, AP champs, so. Here we go. Pop that. Now we can catch them. <laughs> AD carry wasn't in there, but no problem. Okay. Unfortunately, the hour 80 carry was not in that plan. I, I just did it a little bit tiny too early, so it did not work. But no problem. There's no wards in here. And we've already got the tower right here. Really good. <clears throat> nice. Now I can go to the red buff right there, take the red buff, and then get back into uh, spell pushing as much as possible. So, something that I like to do quite a lot as a jungler, it often like really helps like building uh, and like getting ahead of people, is by taking the red buff, blue buff. Often give the blue buff to my mid lane as well, but sometimes I take it for myself. And then basically like split pushing, creating as much pressure as possible when dragons are down. That, those are things that I usually do. Uh, let's actually go bot lane again. We're just going to be playing around bot lane throughout the entire game. And keep on getting cat, uh, keep on getting the catches, basically. <clears throat> okay, so these guys are right here. Lee Sin is going to show up anytime soon right now. So just take the red buff right here. If he decides to come around, I can just smite it. 
Nice. There are no wards here at all, so we can get a really, really nice catch very soon. Wow, that was not very good. Okay, that's another kill. So, like I said before, guys, just play around the lanes that are actually winning, and you can do things like this. Nice. Just staying around here. There are no wards at all, so I can just stay here for as long as I want to, taking every single camp from Lee Sin. He will fall behind that way. Chance is pretty high that somebody is going to show up here. Okay, I'm ready. If he only pops a single Q, we could get another catch. Nice. And I'm just gonna get myself out because Cassiopeia is on the way. And we're gonna reset again. Nice. Now we can go back to base. We can buy the Mercs and then start our next item, which is going to be a Trinity Force. So, uh, let, here we go. And that's it. I might as well just sell the potions right now as I don't really use them anymore. Like that, okay. Now, now we're pretty much in the mid game where um, we can actually start doing our strategy, like the strategy that I like so much. Basically taking the dragon and then just split pushing as much as possible, creating pressure. That's what I like to do on uh, Vi quite a lot actually. Let me quickly take all the farm here for myself. Before my AD carry gets here, like all the farm is going to be wasted, so. There we go. I'm going to be rotating with my team now. I'll let the I'll let the Caitlyn just farm it out, just take it all. And if Mr. Chun decides to show up, I can just go there and just kill her immediately. I'm not assuming that there's any wards down here, but I'm going to check anyway. I want to take all of this. Just smiting it. I got my smite back in like 15 seconds anyway. I can also place down a ward right here. Oh, I still have one right here. Thought it was from like somebody else. Great. Now we got the dragon. Didn't even have to smite properly for that one. So now I'm gonna do my strategy. Basically just split pushing, creating pressure all the time. Rotating. It's like kind of like a top side place though. Thank you. Back to bot lane, taking the farm right there, taking the camp as well, and then rotating back to my teammates. There we go. Guys, um, if you're looking for the four runes, as well as the four builds, I recommend you guys to check out the description because I've actually placed it in there, guys. Really important if you want to have the best setup out there at the moment. There's no wards here right now. And we are all being ready right now. Thank you. It, this is like a very consistent way to carry games. Just basically playing around lanes that are winning and just... Um, applying pressure. One of the most basic things. And it works so well in Vi. Because she's just a perfect champion to counter um, certain junglers. Being able to gank very good. Just a perfect champ. Taking the camp right here. Then going back bot lane. Taking all the farm there as well. This Cassiope is right here. I can't really fight her. Like, she's one of the champions that I just simply can't beat on Vi. Because she's like two levels ahead of me. She might appear right here. Okay, there's like a ward down there. 
Just gonna clear out the wards. If they decide to show up, we could fight them. Okay, I'll just take Rep off right now. Nice. Back rotating like to mid lane again. I could just rotate back bot lane to go to farm there, but just to make sure that things are going to be alright, I'm just gonna stay here with the team. They can't really do much to us right now. I still need my trinket to Oh wait, I actually saw right in there, okay. I still need my trinket to clear that bush. Oh, that's unfortunate. Unfortunate. Nice. Okay, we can't really force the tower, so we just have to rotate bottom again, just take the farm there. Take as much as we can. If Blitzcrank, like Blitzcrank will eventually get a catch, it's just a matter of time. Whoops, there's like one. You can just force it. Okay. Just continue like forcing over and over and over again, basically. I will eventually get my item right now. I just need like slightly more. I just need to have 400 more gold. So I might as well just stay and see if I can maybe get a catch again. Let's see if somebody's going to pass. If you hit a wall, hit hard. Like the only champion which I cannot fight right now is Cassiopeia. But all the others I can except for Nessus too. But all the others I can. Okay, very good. Don't really want to fight Cassiopeia when there's like multiple people down there. It's not smart. Nah, that's not smart. We cannot two versus four. There were there were multiple people sitting right behind that wall. Okay. He kicked me away. I thought he still I I thought he didn't have it anymore. Okay, let's go back. So now the dragon, the next dragon, which is the mountain dragon, is going to be spawned in 10 seconds. Now I could just rotate down there and just take it. But, oh, actually, I thought I could buy it right now. Whoops. Okay, I guess my team, I'll have to wait around. <laughs> okay, so the most ideal thing right now would be if I rotate to the dragon. But I actually thought that I could buy my journey already, but I need to pay like 20 gold. But it would have been better if I was just standing right there, ready to take it. But this is fine. We got it anyway. We're going to go ball in again. We have two very big... Um, we Like, we either have to take the tower right now or take the Baron. Those are the biggest uh, objectives to take right now. If we get the bot lane, we can force Baron very easily. If we get the Baron, we can force like all lanes pretty easily. So, if we only get a single catch on the enemy opponents, we can actually start the Baron pretty easily. So, it pretty much comes down to my Blitzcrank. Uh, just getting like a really good catch with his Q. That's all. See if there's any wards down here. No wards at all, actually. There's no wards at all. Okay, we can just force this. Getting like a little bit of damage done there. We could get that guy over here, guys. Okay. Get that least in at least. Okay, he's gonna run. Thank you. That was perfectly timed for that least in. Nice. Okay. 
Now we can just push. Unfortunately, still not able to. That Cassiopeia has like loads of farm right now. Just gonna hold my Q. We might potentially like get. No, okay. She's not gonna go over here, I think. I don't think she will. Alright, guys. So, after buying the Trinity Force, your next item is going to be the Sterex Gauge. And that's basically the core build of I. Like, going for this jungle item into Trinity Force and taking the Sterex Gauge, that's pretty much the core build of I. That's what makes her so strong. That's what gives her the early to mid game spike. That's what makes her so good. As soon as we get the Starks Gate, we pretty much have everything we need. And then we just have to follow up with like a Guardian's Angel and all that stuff. Okay, this guy is pretty easy for me. Thank you. This is why I like Vi so much, because you can get catches pretty easily with her. Especially like 80 carries. Okay, there's no wards for them anymore. Great. She's pretty big, she, they might face check right now. So, now that all the wards are gone, we could actually start the Baron right now. And if they happen to get close, we could just start fighting them right away. Yeah, I just started. They're actually coming over in A9 right now. Okay, we shouldn't be fighting this because they're getting here too too soon. Okay. This is the scary part because they have too much. Uh, like, all of them are full health right now. My blue screen is not even full health anymore. There we go. Now we have to look for a fight. Let's see if he jumps. My set is up against a misfortune should that should be pretty easy for him. As long as we hold them right now, they he should be able to get like a free tower. Okay. Now we can force the mid tower. Nice. It's like good macro play right here. Dragon will spawn in five seconds, so as long as we don't die, we should be okay. Nice. Okay, they can't fight me here. Cassiope is pretty strong though, we have to focus her. Good. So, we can't really do much more anymore because we currently only have like 900, 900 HP. We might as well just walk to the dragon right now, take the dragon while we can because Lee Sin is not here right now. I'll take it while I have the chance. Nice. I got him. Thank you. Now I'll quickly make way, my way back to base. Gonna get my uh, first part of my item. And then we're gonna start fighting these guys again. Of course, if you're in the base, you always wanna br bring like a Contra Ward. I guess that's self-explanatory. If you're doing the Baron, you need to have like a ward. So you can remove their wards so they can't see it. That's why you should always bring a ward. My Caitlyn is not going to take the red buff, so I just do it myself. Nice. I'm not going to start the Baron yet. Oh, this guy is free right now. He's in a really bad position right now. Okay, just going to bait him towards me. Ah, 
And we got him. Like, Nasus can't really do much if you're just queuing in and you E and then you back off again. He can't really kite you. He needs a long time to, to follow you, to follow up. We could start the Baron right now because Nasus is dead. We could easily do it. But the team's going right here. Just follow them. Okay. Now we can just force the tower. Like two of them are currently gone. If you hit a wall, I'm not gonna go in there. Too risky. Only one single ultimate. Okay, I just altered myself into the fountain. <laughs> Alright guys. Unfortunately it is what it is. Altered straight into the fountain. But that should be a win right now. Three of them are currently gone. Cassiope is going for it anyway. I don't think she can kill my teammates. Nah, she can't. Yep, that's it. Anyways, uh, this is pretty much how you play Vi in the jungle. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my stream if you want to see like challenge ELO gameplay. And with that being said, don't forget to follow my Twitter. If you've got any kind of questions, let me know in the comments, guys. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon within the next video. Peace.